Oh my god, bro! You don't just the zero. It all started a few days before Christmas. My not so little six foot two awesome brother Jack Murphy said, Oi Jerry! Hashtag zero ruined my life. He'd even updated the smileys. I was like, oh my god, bro, you don't just the zero. <laughs> Here's the thing. I set up Jack on Zero in late 2011 when he first started his business as a fishing journalist, blogger, and photographer. Now at 22, he's the proud founder of Jack Murphy Fishing and Photography. If you're into fish or boats or proof that you can turn your hobby into an awesome business, check it out at jackmurphyfishing.com. Proud sister moment. Jack was happily using Zero with the limited training I had given him, issuing awesome invoices by email with ease, managing his debtors and on charging his bazillion travel expenses that he gets from traveling around Australia, writing and taking photos for all the top fishing and boating magazines. Well, the shit hit the fan when St George Bank Feeds, Jack's Bank, was swapped over from Yodley to the direct bank feeds into Zero. Hit that like button if you know what I'm talking about. Jack didn't know how important the bank feeds were or how to fix them or that if he didn't get his stuff up to date he would have a massive mess on his hands. He asked for my help. I was busy. Bad sister moment. And then he tried to fix it himself. He got duplicates, he got dates around the wrong way and well made an even bigger mess. So that brings me back to my Christmas present for my little brother. Jack, sitting for three hours fixing his bank statement so that the statement balance matched his actual bank statement balance so he knew his actual debtors and his actual profit and loss and stuff he didn't know or hadn't known for the last six months because he stopped reconciling stuff because he knew something was wrong. If this has ever happened to you or you've just realised that your statement balance has always been wrong, I'm going to explain and show you how I did it. Now this is a skill that every bookkeeper has called bank reconciliation. If you aren't a bookkeeper, don't freak out now and run away. I can feel the cold sweat that you just had from here. I promise I'll break it down step by step so anyone can do it. You've got this. Let us begin. Step one, get your bank statements. Find all your bank statements. You want to find the statements back to when you know the statement balance was last correct in zero. That is, matching the actual bank statement balance. If you don't have them printed, just download them from your internet banking. Ensure that your statement has a running day-by-day -day balance on the statement. Don't get the Excel version if it doesn't have the balance, right? Step two, find the starting point. Find the starting point by running the reconciliation report on the date you think the statement balance in zero last matched the actual bank statement. It's usually the end of a month. If the statement balance matches, move on to step three. If the statement balance doesn't match, go back further until you find the date that it is correct. Step three, run the reconciliation report from the starting point. It's detective time. Now that you have your starting point, move forward in incremental periods, matching the statement balance in zero to the actual bank statement. Move forward by a month. If it's not correct, go back and move forward by a week. If that's not correct, go back and move forward a few days. You get my drift? Once you know what period the problems occurred in, that is, the days or weeks between the last correct balance and the incorrect balance, you need to look a little deeper into the transactions. You need to look a little deeper into the transactions recorded in Zero and if they are actually recorded on your bank statement. The most common problems are missing transactions and duplicates. You need to find the problem transactions and add them, edit them, or remove them. The key is, if they didn't happen on the bank statement, then they should not be in that bank account in zero. Once you find a matching balance date, it becomes your new starting point, and you keep on going until you get to today's date. Step four, celebrate. 
So armed with your bank statements and your zero, you repeat steps two and three over and over again until you get to today's date. The result, your statement balance should be the balance in your actual bank account yesterday and that balance will be maintained and stay correct as long as your bank feeds are activated. Yup, it's time for the nerdy tax lady fist pump. Yes! Was this lesson helpful? If you are a member of the Academy, you can download a PDF of these steps with screenshots instantly with the link below. You can register as an Academy member for more helpful lessons, courses, live events and much more.